Hello, you are watching this. You are watching my fundraising plea video. So there you go. I've said it. I'm going to ask you for money. Um, but don't run away because I'm asking you for money <laughs> for a really, really, really good cause. So here I am in my office um, where I'm known as Marielle. Some of you might know me as Michal. Um, but that's not my name here, where I work as a community health outreach fellow at Reach NOLA. And I'm sitting at my desk today here to ask you for, um, for money so that I can stay here next year. Um, as you might know or might not know, I'm here right now through a fellowship with Avodah. I do your service court, which is amazing. So if you're still in college or in your 20s, you should definitely do it. Um, but unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. And Avoda is ending on August 5th, and that's it. I'm jobless, unemployed, unless you give me money. Well, not me. Reach no lot money so that I can stay here. Um, so you're probably wondering to yourself right now, why do I even care about this organization and why should I give them money? Well, I didn't really care about the organization before I started working here either because I didn't know anything about community health. But in the last six months of working here, I've learned about the mental health crisis in New Orleans. Um, something that you probably didn't know is that a third of the people who returned to the city after Hurricane Katrina are affected by depression or post-traumatic stress disorder. And so they have a lot of a hard time um, finding mental health care providers. And so one of the things that I've been doing is um, planning and researching and just helping to support one of our projects, which is called the Mental Health Infrastructure and Training Project. Um, and so I've been helping to make mental health care in the city better and more accessible to people. Um, and another thing that I've been doing, well today what I was working on before I started talking to you in this video, was organizing for an undoing racism training. Um, and undoing racism trainings are run through the People's Institute for Survival and Beyond, and they're really cool and they educate people about institutionalized racism, which is a very serious issue. And one that a lot of people aren't really aware of or know much about. Um, and what else? Um, I also have helped organize people who are attending the interpreter training course that we do because there are a lot of people in the city that speak Spanish really well, or Vietnamese really well, or Portuguese really well, but they're not um, totally proficient in English, and they have a really hard time getting quality health care, especially if their providers don't speak the language that they speak. Um, so one thing that we could do about that is provide people with medical interpreters who interpret... Um, for them and for their doctors when they go to the doctor. Because imagine going to the doctor and the doctor doesn't even speak your language. You know, it's going to be hard to get quality health care. Anyway, you can learn more about the organization by going to www.reachnola.org or you can email me at mariel, M-A-R-I-E-L, at reachnola.org. Um, or you can check out my First Giving page at www.firstgiving.org slash reachnola. Um, or you could call me and ask me some more questions about the work that I'm doing. Um, or you could just watch this video over and over again. And I really appreciate your help. I forward this to all your friends.